What was I thinking? I have been dating Alexander for almost a year. He is my everything, hashtag everything. He was incarcerated for burglary, violating probation, and falsifying checks. But he wasn't the one who did it, so I don't think he did anything wrong. My history regarding dating has been interesting. I've dated men with a lot of tattoos that were on drugs. I've been hurt by men in the past before, so I usually guard my heart. And so I've been celibate. I have not had sex in five years. I just simply never told my mother because I was embarrassed that Alexander was incarcerated and I know she wouldn't approve of it because I knew she wouldn't be happy with me dating an inmate. Um, so you know my boyfriend, Alex? Not much about him. You know that we're in love and that, um, so I'm engaged to Alex. Are you right. serious? I am, I Why am. Why would you want to marry a guy that's locked up? He's being released, Mom. He has pretty eyes, he has a nice body, he uh, has really cool tattoos, and he <laughs> also can sing really nice. He writes me cards. What does he sing to he you? He writes poetry. Jailhouse rock. I already see a red flag. My red flag is he's in jail. My red flag is that he's in there for robbery. My red flag is that what did he, how did he influence you so much to fall in love with him? I tried really, really hard to give him the benefit of the doubt, um, but he would let me down. The first time I met Glorietta, I, I thought she was kind of weird and she talks kind of funny and she was just kind of, um, you know, like one of those little foo foo -y dogs that you paint their nails and, and they got the little rhinestone collar and, you know, like a poodle. She seemed like like that. If like she was a dog, she would have been a poodle. Well, we draw a big circle. Yeah, there you go. This is the big shebang, and we have never even had any romantic time together outside of prison. Wow, that's really sexy. I haven't had sex in over three months. I haven't had sex in five years, girl. What the? You're a recycled virgin. <laughs> I mean, who who thinks that that's going to work out anyway? You get out of jail, and you don't even really know the person, and you just want to boom, boom, get married before you even live with the person? You know, what if that person farts in their sleep? Or what if they, you know, you know, you never know with people. Like, people are weird. This is Alex. Alex. I can't touch you. I got a dog on me. Yeah. Oh. So, you don't want to shake Alex's hand? I can't. I got a dog on me. Do you mind if I ask your um, friend something? My fiance, mom. Okay. Why were you incarcerated? I was attracted to the to the thug life. I was attracted to the uh, dope dealing life. All the chains, you know, Gucci bags, Louis bags, all the all the crazy stuff, you know. May I ask your religion? I am Muslim. And how long have you been Muslim? I've been Muslim for almost 10 years. That's something that I'm I'm really not OK with. I didn't talk to my mother for maybe two weeks because of the argument that happened with my mom and Alexander at the park regarding religion. And I was upset that Alexander spilled the beans because I really wanted him to be more reserved as far as meeting my mom for the first time but he chose to just go in, guns blazing, and, and that's what happened. And, and I tried to warn him. If, if you guys were to have a child, are you willing to come back to the Christian family? I'm not. And then I said, so if she doesn't convert, would that stop you from marrying her? And he, he's like, well, I have to think about it. So it, I'm like, wait a minute, and now you have to think about it? It's, it felt like he was lying, and I just was really upset about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, May I talk cool. to you? So for we're. A second, please. Stop touching me, man. May I talk to you for yeah, a second? Yeah, but don't touch me. If someone says don't touch me, then don't touch them. It's that simple. It's black and white. You don't have to not approve or like the words that someone says don't touch me but it's not rocket science 
he went and touched me and put his hands on me. He's like, oh, hi. And I, what is he doing rubbing my arm like that? And he came, he walked into my space, and he's touching my arms. And I'm like, it's his fault. He's the one that's um, acting stupid and disrespectful. Alexander touching my mother was more about, you have to really earn my trust and respect. And it wasn't more about, don't touch me. And when it, that didn't stop him. He continued to follow me out to the sidewalk. And I said, leave me alone. I mean, I'm doing my best to support this relationship. And it felt like he was antagonizing me. And I, I believe he knew what he was doing. I'm a Christian okay, and that's how it's gonna be. I don't want you sharing. You know, I respect people's this religion, but I don't respect you trying to convert me. Cause this I, have is, good, I have good information for you, but you're I don't want to hear speak. your information. I don't want to hear that. I'm not, I'm not talking about converting well, who, you. Yeah, who am I? I'm God's child, and I'm not going to it's convert. Good, and I'll you know what? I respect you. I respect your religion. I respect your beliefs. You respect hear, mine. I you, don't want to hear are it. Are you going to hear what I have I to say? I don't want to hear it. Let's keep it real short. No, what you're I, not. What I'm what not going to hear it, man. I'm going to punch you in your face. Look, now, you're yeah, not going to hear what I got to say? Yeah, stick it up your ass. All right, stick it up my ass then. He should have just left her alone and walked away, but he didn't because he's he's he wants his way. He has to have his way. He was trying to convince her that you know his intentions were good and you know and she's over there freaking out about the muslim thing like like it's contagious like he's gonna make her try to convert and all that and that was just bull there's stereotypes that christians are you know judge all muslims and think that they're all bad and you know that just made me cringe what could i say to be honest i lost it i am not proud how i handled it and I'm not happy with myself, how I, you know, my how I upset my daughter. I, I am ashamed how I handled that, and I'm gonna admit it. Um, but when he touched me, I lost it, and I thought, you know, okay, don't touch me. And then he, he touched me again, and I guess that was the final straw. I'm going to confront him face to face and I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Just pick up a chair and knock him out. <sighs> okay, as a result, what Alex did to our family, my daughter and I didn't talk for a while. And um, I almost moved out, moved away. And um, he turned our family upside down. And um, we're working on it now we're working on our relationship and um it took a toll on us what would alex i don't know if he wanted to do this or or if that's just him but i knew if i didn't forgive alex that i i couldn't heal my mother are working on our relationship right now. We've considered therapy and um, it's something that's on the to-do list. We haven't actually pursued it yet, but it's a work in progress for sure. It made me really sad that he went back to jail. I wish that uh, that things went a little differently for the both of them. I, you know, I, I wish uh, maybe sparks did fly and maybe it wouldn't have sent him on that downward spiral down to relapsing and inevitably uh, going back to prison. I, I don't think he's a, a bad guy. I wish there was something we all could have done to help him, but now it is what it is. When he was incarcerated again, it is very dangerous and very sad and um i didn't i don't wish him to be in there i am completely ready to forgive alexander for the way that he treated me i do not think it's healthy to hold on to grudges i like to move forward and be positive and just be optimistic in general But now that I'm single, and so there's this guy named David that I'm really attracted to that's really good looking, and he's really tall, and he's an MMA fighter. But now Alex might be released next month, so I don't know what the future holds.